Hello and welcome everyone, it's Mike from Downtown Comics and we're here to talk about all the new comics releasing on Wednesday, August 16th, 2023. Before we begin, let me say like, subscribe, and share, that is always appreciated. And downtowncomics.com is your place to find out all the covers and comics that are coming out this week, some of which you may not see on this table. Please let us know if you're looking for something specific. We will find it for you. All right, last week we could barely fill the table. This week I've got a pile at the end. So let's get going. All right, Marvel Alien is brand new. And one of my favorite teams of all time, Alpha Flight, is back to tie into the Fall of X. So that's new. Uh, the Dark Tempest miniseries gets a second printing. We have our second issue of the Death of the Venomverse. All right, a few covers there. Some more Fall of X stuff. Dark X-Men launches this week. And that's got another one of the Alex Ross connecting covers. That's cool. Uh, Daredevil ends its current run at issue 14. It will be starting again, don't worry, but this storyline is ending. It has been real solid. Edge of Spider-Verse 3 gets a second print. Tying into the Wolverine Ghost Rider crossover is Ghost Rider 17. So that's part two of the little crossover. Groot, number four. Uh, we continue our Contest of Chaos annuals with Iron Man. The Iron Man annual. Loki. It's issue three. Marvel Voices, new one of that. Our fourth What If Dark themed uh, one shots. This one is Moon Knight. So we've had Loki, Spider Gwen, Venom, and now Moon Knight. Uh, Spider Man 11, more Spider Boy. We get a reprint of Dark Droids number one, if you missed it. It's second printing. And Darth Vader 37 does tie into that storyline, so that is out. And then our third uh, number one issue for Fall of X, Uncanny Avengers is back. And we get another Alex Ross, but this one's tied to the Avengers Alex Ross. And then you've got the X-Men Alex Ross. So you've got two different Alex Ross connecting covers in that one. Our X-Men Days of Future Past miniseries hits number two. And finally, X-Men Red. So it's a big Fall of X week for Marvel. All right, on to some independents. Resident Evil, number three. A couple of Turtles books. Splintered Fate is a one-shot, so that's out. And then you've got the regular Turtles. Red Sonja hits number two on our latest ongoing series. Rare Flavors is a new one. Queen of Swords, number two. A brand new Oz from Xenoscope. Uh, Pen and Ink is, a, is an event, um, an event, a style where they do black and white for some Boom comic. That's what Boom calls their black and white stuff. So they're reprinting uh, The Many Deaths of Lila Star in black and white. To show off that guy's art. So the guy is doing Lila Star or did Lila Star is the one that's doing rare flavors that I just showed you. So that's why. Uh, Magic Order, I think this will be the end of this current volume at number six. Our Lonesome Hunter sequel hits number two. In Hell We Fight, number three. Gru hits number two. I Hate Fairyland, it's brand new. Our latest Dune miniseries hits number eight. And we have an extra Disney villains this week. So Hades from Hercules gets his own comic. So we had Scar, which ended, and Maleficent, which I think is ending at four also. So that one is number four, but Hades is starting up. Cull, is that new? Yeah, that's number one. That's a new one from Image, Cull. Betty Page, number three. Astrobots number four, 
and Antarctica number two. All right, so we're going to move on to DC, but there's plenty more independence, so we're getting to that. All right, so DC Batman, Generation Joker, brand new issue. Brand new issue of World's Finest. Our Harley Quinn Black, White, and Redder continues. We got number two on the new Hawk Girl book. Number four on the Icon vs. Hardware miniseries. And then we're wrapping up some Night Terrors. So the second issue of Catwoman. The second issue of Nightwing. The second issue of Punchline. The second issue of Superman. And the second issue of Wonder Woman. So those are all wrapping up their little tie-ins to Night Terrors. All right, we got a new Dawn of DC book, Penguin. So Penguin's getting his own book. And our Tales of the Titans, so these are, it's a mini series that guest stars each Titan in one issue. So it was Starfire in the first one, and now Raven gets her own one shot. So if you're a Raven fan. And lastly for DC this week, The Vigil is new at number four. So good DC week. All right, finishing out our independence. Uh, Brian Moore hits number two, but that seems like a reprint. No, it's not. Brian Moore hits number two. Thought that had already come out. Uh, Godzilla gets another one shot. Dark Spaces. So this is a new one set in his Dark Spaces universe of Scott Snyder called the Hollywood Special. So that's a one shot. So if you're reading his stuff, you want to pick that up. Uh, Sonic, it's number 63. Rick and Morty, Heart of Rickness. And Savage Squad 6 from Dark Horse. All right, and then we got our stack to end this video. Sirens of the City, number two. Something Epic. Now, is this new or a reprint? That is number four. Something Epic, number four. Archie Horror gives us a strange science one shot. Swan Songs, that's issue one. So this is a variant cover of issue one that was released through Diamond Comics. So Void Rivals is new. New Void Rivals number three. A couple covers there. And oh wait, that's Void Rivals number three. Alright, so that is part of that. But then this is a third printing of number one. So we have third printing of number one and then a second printing of number two. So if you missed it, you can start it again. Uh, Wild's End, number three. And lastly, a new one from Scout Comics, Orson Welles, Warrior of the Worlds. No idea. Science fiction, probably. All right. Good week, everyone. Yeah, lots of stuff. So good Marvel, good DC, good independence. All right, that's about it. Talk to you later. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.